Hi everybody, Alex Aploy here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to show you how to test the moving average multiplier that we've made available for testing for the next seven days. So you go to the EA Factory website in the download area you select the moving average multiplier a beta version and you select the MT5 or MT4 version that you want to test. I'm going to do the MT5 one. You can download the product there which uh, I assume in this video that you already have done and then you just go down on the product information page you just go down and you'll find settings analysis and you click on that and you'll get a, a set files for indexes and for the forex market I'm going to go into the forex market one and I click on details I then sort it in profitability order and let's say I want to use the pound yen one hour set file so I click on I'm going to use mt4 so I click on that and it automatically downloads into my download folder so I open my folder and there it is there's the download file let us check it's of the pound yen so what I then do is I copy this like I'm showing you. you copy it and we then close that then we go to the mt4 platform and here is the mt4 platform there is the strategy tester and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this open data folder so we open the data folder and here is the trick with this particular set file it's not like an EA set file it is a tester set file so you go down to tester click on that open it up now you'll see I've got a whole lot of set files here already and in fact so the correct thing really is to just open a new folder and say set files because that's getting pretty messy messy at the back at the bottom there I'll click on set files I open it up now there's nothing in there new folder so I paste that set file that I downloaded from the EA factory website I paste into there and then you can simply close it <coughs> Okay, so now I'm going to use that set file in my testing of the moving average multiplier. I've got the, the pound yen I have to set up. Pound yen, I'm going to use every, I'm not going to use every tick for now, uh, or I am going to just use open prices for now, and I set up my date, and then I set then I set the spread now be very careful never use the current spread for any testing it skews the results tremendously uh, use the spread that you want to use so in this case I think a five pip spread these are in points so a five pip spread will be good we are doing the one hour so everything's fine so then I open the input section and uh, we are going to start with a, a 10,000. It's always good to test with a 10,000 uh, initial deposit. And then here's the trick. So then you go and download those settings that you've just brought in. And we go to set files. And there they are. We open them up. And now whatever I've got in there now will be replaced by that set file. Now this is a magic set file because it also includes a calibrator and I'm going to explain to you how the calibrator works. So there are the settings that produce the great, those great results on the EA Factory website over the last 12 months and um, you can go and have a look at those results on the EA Factory website. So I'm not interested in that section yet. What I want to tell you about is the calibrator part of this this uh, set file because when you do optimization you have to start at a point you have to step at a point and then you have to stop at a point and that is already filled in for you by, by the set file so the this is exactly the set file we used to optimize those settings so we started at two step by two and we went to 60 we started at zero we went step by two and went to 60 so and they all tick 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 open trades we started at two we went up by one and we went to 40 
Most important settings we're testing, initial stop loss take profit started at 20 and went to 400. Uh, trailing stop, same thing, we optimized that. And then the time of day, we started at zero, add one, go to 23 as an opening time. And then we started at one, increased by two, by one to 24. So we're covering the whole day and there's the result. So if we run this, on its own will get a favorable result um, but now this is where you this is where you now can basically just go and say okay and click on optimize and it will optimize the EA on your broker account isn't that cool you can do your own optimization we've made it so easy for you we've provided you with the optimization settings and uh, you just download that file into your strategy tester tool. Now, again, if you have any questions, comments or remarks about this fantastic facility that we've given you, that applies to all our EAs. Whenever you download a set file, you can download it. And let me explain very nicely. When I open the data folder, there are two places set files can go. So the one place is if you press MQLS and there are the presets. So that's where the presets go. And this is a, I don't have presets in there. So that's where the set files go, normally go when you trade the EA. But if you're testing the EA, they, it doesn't go there. It goes into into the tester section and you just create a set file folder and you you put that same folder that you would have put into your trading uh, section you now put into this section now i hope you found this video interesting and that these tools will make your life so much easier in the future in that you, we are providing you with the same optimization templates basically that we use so from me alex deploy cheerio